In this lecture, let's learn how to add CSS classes dynamically to a JSX element in React. For that, let's go ahead and let's add a new span element. And for now, here let's say available. So basically within this span, we want to display whether the product is available or not. And on this span, I'm going to use this class name attribute. And to this, I'm going to assign a bootstrap class. So that bootstrap class is badge and then BG hyphen success. Let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. And here you will notice that that text available has been displayed and it is displayed within this green box. So this green box is being displayed by this badge class. All right. Now a product can be available or unavailable. So instead of displaying this hard coded value, what we are going to do is we are going to create a new variable here. I will call it is available. And for now to this, let's assign available and let's go ahead and let's use this variable here. So for that, we need to use a set of curly braces like this and inside that we can use our variable which is this is available and it should be working as expected so it is still working now if the product is available we want to add this bootstrap class to this span but if the product is not available in that case we want to add bg dangerous bootstrap class to this span so in this case it will look something like this so here we basically want to add this CSS class dynamically based on whether this is available variable if it is assigned with this string available or not available. For that, let's go ahead and let's create a new variable and let's call it badge class. And to this, let's assign this badge first because this badge class is going to be on the available products also and not available products also. Okay, so let's add it here. Then let's say badge class plus equals. So basically now we want to append this BG danger or BG success based on whether the product is available or not available. Okay, so here we need to check a condition first. And the condition is if is available, if it is equal to available, in that case, to this badge class, we want to append BG success. So here let's use a question mark and let's return BG success. But if the product is not available, in that case, we want to append this BG danger. So let's copy this and let's pass it here okay and now instead of hard coding this bootstrap class let's use curly braces and here let's use this badge class variable all right with this let's save the changes let's go to the web page so currently the product is available so the badge should be green as you can see here now let's go ahead and let's change it to unavailable Let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. And now you will notice that now this badge is red. So this is how we can add a CSS class dynamically to a JSX element. Now let's do one more thing. Inside this index.css, let's create a new CSS class. Let's call it badge margin left and let's say 40. So basically inside this CSS class, we want to set margin left to 40 pixel okay and let's go ahead and let's add this css class to this badge so if we scroll up before this badge we also want to add this css class so these two css classes will be common and based on whether the product is available or not this css class or this css class will be added to this span element with this let's save the changes let's
let's go to the web page so now you can see there is some margin between this button and this badge in fact let's increase this margin a little bit more so here let's go ahead and let's change this name to 240 and here let's increase the margin to 240 okay and let's also go ahead and change the name here so now it is badge margin left 240 save the changes let's see how it looks so now it looks fine okay if i change this is available to available let's save the changes now this badge is green 